Jeff Capel Sooner is looking to snap a three-game losing streak on Wednesday night as Doc Sadler's Cornhuskers came to town looking for their first road win, coming off a 65-54 win over Oklahoma State on Saturday. OU big man Andrew Fitzgerald had a good first half, getting the hoop and the harm here off the nice pass. Fitzgerald had 11 of his 15 points in the first half. OU led 27-26 at the break. On the other side, though, Jorge Brian Diaz was answering the call. The 6'11 sophomore was hard to handle in the paint. Diaz had 17 points, 4 rebounds. Senior guard Cade Davis had only 3 points in the first half, but added 10 more in all 8 of his rebounds in the second half. So you took the 47-46 lead with 8 minutes left. Sophomore guard Stephen Pledger took it from there, scoring the next 6 points, first with 3 free throws and then the direct route from long distance. The game was tied at 53 with 324 left. Pledger chipped in 11 points on the night. Nebraska added a free throw and then got this sweet little drive from point guard Lance Jeter, who eventually dished to Tony McRae deep in the paint for the easy two. Jeff Cable did not love that. Huskers led 56-53, 45 seconds remaining. McRae contributed 12 points. Nebraska added another free throw and things looked grim for the Sooners till Carl Blair caught the Huskers napping. Drove to the hole for two and one. Blair had five points, eight assists, and only one turnover. Suddenly, the deficit was only one, with 17 seconds remaining. OU fouled, Nebraska made both free throws, and then this happened. Okay, Davis hits the step back three, and the game is tied at 59, with under five seconds left. Lance Jeter's half court heave is just off the mark, and we're headed to overtime. All right? Well, not exactly. The refs weren't sure if Davis' shot was two or three. So after the final buzzer had sounded, they go back to the monitor to review the play. And after a couple of minutes, determined Davis stepped on the line. It was only a two-pointer. And Nebraska gets the crazy win, 59-58 over the Sooners. Um, I just, you know, I automatically assumed it was the three. Um, but... It may have just seemed that way because I had to fade back because the guy was had a hand in my face. But I, I really didn't even look down. I was just concentrating on stepping back and trying to get my shot. So I never looked down to see where my feet were at. I just figured I know where I was. So. I, I thought we fought. I thought we gave really good effort. I, I thought we had some guys step up and give us some good minutes. Uh, but it's incredibly disappointing uh, to lose uh, here at home and to lose in this manner. Uh, Nebraska's a good team, they're tough, they're disciplined, um, and they made more plays than we did today, tonight. The Sooners fall into a tie for ninth place in the conference with none other than OSU, which lost at Texas Wednesday night. Next up, Oklahoma visits Kansas State for a 3 o'clock tip on Saturday. Damon Fontenot, News OK Sports.